Ik ga me voor een paar dagen. Het was jongens, het was jongens, het was vreugde, het was jongens, het was jongens, het was vreugde, 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 het was Good morning, everyone. So, it has been a while. So I figured this would actually be a really, really good thing to jump into. So this is Igor Amokian's, but what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be adding a pitch, um, a tempo tone control to it. Essentially, just a pitch control. And yeah, that's it. So no pro sounds, no anything else. Not gonna be super fancy, but I figured it would be a good thing to get back into. So, hi, DJ Leap here. Welcome to K Frog, your phonics radio station. Q, 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 N, R, N, P, N, P, V, W, V, W, X, U, L, 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 The letter S, S, E, D, E, D, E, D, E, S, 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 C, S, S, E, D, A, E, The letter E. So the first thing we're going to be doing is obviously we're going to be taking out the bolts. And yeah, so we're going to start there. Funny enough, I was trying that because this absolutely seems like one of those toys that you can make cuss. So maybe something to YouTube. But yep, we're going to go ahead and take the bolts out and let's get started. <laughs> So the circuit board does look pretty new, but I'm not super concerned about this because if I remember correctly, and I didn't look back on my YouTube channel, but I am pretty sure I've done one of these before. So I'm not super concerned, although this may be a newer model. There's always that possibility, but I'm not gonna worry about it. We're gonna go ahead and continue on by taking out these bolts right here. And then there are multiple circuit boards in here. My guess is that our tempo tone control is gonna be on this integrated circuit. A lot of times in these semi newer instruments, when you see these integrated circuits, what they are is they're taking place of the actual resistors. So on the R1s and R2s that we typically hit up, they get sort of replaced by these integrated circuits. But that is yet to be seen. They also may be using both. So we'll see what happens. Alright, 
So our integrated circuit's right across here. I'll lift it up so you can see it. So all of these points right here and right here are our integrated circuit. So you're not getting any effect off of that. So let's go ahead and start looking elsewhere. Okay, so there we go. So the exact one, well that was an interesting way to open a marker. Okay, so the exact one we're gonna be hitting is right here. So it's this resistor right here. Try to get better light for you. So it's right there. So you have this kind of like smudge stuff right here and then it looks like this resistor runs out right here and then we have a tap point which we're going to be using right here but we are going to have to actually solder on to this side of the resistor wish that this was a little bit clearer okay so we are going to have to solder onto this side of the resistor but we do have a tap out point right here because a lot of times with these micro resistors, what's gonna happen is if you solder onto this, as we know, the resistor pulls up. So we only want to touch one side. Realistically, we don't wanna touch any side of this, but we do have to touch one side because we have the smudge point. At that point, we don't know where everything goes. One of these is gonna be our median. Realistically, what we could do is we could actually take the positive and we could add some resistors to it and then run it directly from the battery pack, but I kind of like the fluency of running just from the resistor because, or yeah, from this resistor and not running resistors from the battery pack because what tends to happen is you get to save on supplies and you get to save on resistors because they're not doing a crazy amount of voltage through that resistor as it would be you know, running it directly from the battery pack. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go ahead and tag this up and I will show you the end result of that.
Okay, so this is added. And lucky enough, our ground was actually right beside this resistor. So if you can see here, trying to get some light on this. There we go. I've added to the resistor and still quite blurry. I'm sorry guys, I think that's the clearest I'm gonna get it. But I did solder to this side of the resistor and then I soldered to this bay point right here. And then we had our ground that is right on this side. So lucky enough. And one thing to be aware of is there is a screw right here. We do not want to interfere with that in any way. So I went directly to the side as opposed to either running it across the board or running it this way, which would have been a little bit easier on the solder point. When I say that it would be easier to solder, but what would happen was that wire would of course interfere here. So you'd end up cutting the wire when you got to mounting things or you know something would obviously happen. So another safety precaution that I did do here is I went ahead and stripped out these. So that's just gonna be less stuff I have to pull on. Realistically, that's not gonna be super big deal because I could literally just hold these. And if I was going to actually strip these, I'd probably wrap them around my finger just like that and then strip them. That way my finger is actually taking the tension and not the solder point. Because if this resistor gets ripped off here, in my experience, it's pretty much done. I have had success in the past putting the resistor back on, but it is so insanely hard and it's very tedious. It's not really something you want to go through. So I would say go ahead and strip these if you can. I know it's a little late now if you are following along with this video, but sorry, just wrap it around your finger. Hopefully you have enough you know, stuff going on. Okay, so that's our medium Press point. Button to hear a song. Press the leapfrog button to play. Be fine. And that's better. Hi, DJ Leap here. Welcome here, DJ to Leap. Leapfrog. So it looks like we are going to need some type of resistor on this. I think it just hard crashed. Nope, we're good. So we will need some type of resistor. On this, I'm just literally going to test out different resistors, kind of see what takes. Not the safest way of doing it. But my actual resistor value calculator is I don't know where, so... That's what we're doing. It's probably going to take some soldering and desoldering of the uh, positive here. All right, let's grab another one. I believe this is 250Ks, which should, it should be enough. that on all right so we're gonna roll with these 250 Ks the that wasn't super high, so I'm guessing I could probably run three of these in parallel. And with three of these in parallel, we should knock down that resistance quite a bit. Let's divide it by three, if I remember correctly. So this is three 250Ks wrapped up. Let's see if it works. 
They're running parallel. Trying to see. Just all wrapped together. Hopefully you can see. It is still so blurry. Thanks for learning with Lee. E, e. The letter E says. <laughs> so that is high. I don't think it's the highest we can get though. So let's go ahead and grab another one off here. This one we're not going to wrap. We're just going to. Kind of put it on there. So we are so good with that. Let's do another one. Oh. Accidentally touched my soldering iron there. That's not great. Okay, so it looks like that is our crashing point right there. Shouldn't it be a hard crash. Should come right back on. Hi, DJ Leap here. Cool, Welcome but that's it. So let's take this one off. Press a button to hear a song. Press the leapfrog button to play. Find that letter. Press a button to hear a song. Oh, so these are 150Ks, actually. So what I have here is I have four 150Ks all run in parallel, and that's going to be maxing this out. Realistically, we could probably go with some other resistors and run those in parallel with these, but it would be both time-consuming and pretty risky. There's no guarantee to it. So we're just going to run with these, and that should be good. I don't remember which one's a medium here. E. The letter E says E. Alright, so that's F. the median. Let's go ahead and back this off. And at the same time, we're going to go ahead and figure out where we're marking this. Because this is rather small when it comes to uh, casing it. So, we do need to strategically place this one. Um... I'm thinking right here is probably going to be our best bet. These two places, those both seem really fair. Those, they seem doable. So that's where we're going to go. And I am going to give myself a little bit, since this circuit board has to be flipped over. I'm not super concerned about it, but I think we're going to give ourselves just a little more than we think we might need here. So there we go. Let me touch the soldering iron in a non-skin contact type way. running this straight across. I think we can get away with it. So I'm going to shut this up for a second, but what I am going to check just in case is I'm going to check and make sure that we have contact with the actual um, median in the ground that doesn't crash the instrument because what we could potentially do here is that we could run these prior to both the ground and the positive which would limit both of them or we could just run it on that one track on the positive and then just limit that positive to the median but we're going to see which one would actually fit better on this instrument simply by testing it So 
So that is pretty low, but it's not a stop. To hear a song. So. Press the lick it proc button to play Find That Letter. Hi, DJ Leap So that's a complete stop and it's not crashing it. So that's that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, potentially what could happen here is we could get down to the bottom and this could be a little much. So what I mean by that is it could overpower the potentiometer where it's pretty much low all the way around except for the end point, which would of course, you know, revert it to completely high. Not a big deal, but I don't personally like when that happens, so we may end up limiting both of them. We're just going to have to Thanks see how this turns out. Bye -bye. And we may be desoldering these and re-adding them, but we'll see. Get that in a position where I can solder it. And this one's going to be weird. I'm going to have to solder it and then back it out. Nice. And let me go ahead and solder this median point on. Well, I don't know if I want this running on the potentiometer or... Yeah, let's 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 run it on the switch. So we'll go ahead and put it on here. No solder. Might be a little left over. Hoping I'll get some of that. enough to hold it and really press into it now actually get it soldered well there we go looks like we melted some wire there too that's that's kind of cool that's sarcasm, by the way, you don't want to melt wires. And that's what electrical tape is for. So let's put a little bit of that around here. And that's just gonna keep it from short circuiting. But also we can go ahead and wrap all three wires up, make them a little bit more sturdy. There we go. And this shouldn't affect the instrument as of yet because we don't have that median actually hooked down. E. The letter E says E and E. Now I'm going to strip this out a little bit more because it is time to add the resistors onto this.
That would be the pathway that we would go if we were limiting both. We are not going to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and kick this off. And this is going to keep it from actually connecting because we do have to limit that positive. So I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that it didn't drop all the way low. It also didn't seem to be limiting the negative too much. So I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to run it on the positive. I don't think we're going to end up with any potentiometer problems or anything with this. This is not one end stick, I don't know why. <sighs> Dry. All right. So now we are going to unsolder the positive right here, which I don't remember which one it is. So this is the problem with electrical tape. All right, so it's gonna be easier just to cut this out as opposed to going through and unsoldering it. We're just gonna cut it. Hi, DJ Leap here. Welcome to Cape Rod, your phonics radio station. And then this Press one could actually sit outside the electrical off. tape. I don't Press mind. The Leap Prog button to play. Find that letter. need to put more solder on the potentiometer here. That's why it's not sticking correctly. So let me go ahead and do that. Such a weird angle.
All right, we should be good. It's all the way up. Oh yeah, so that's all the way down. That's scrolling. So not a lot of play. That's exactly what we're looking for. And I am gonna go ahead and tape up these resistors right here just to make sure that they're not short circuiting. I doubt they will, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. There's not really anything they can short circuit on, but it's just kind of nice to add that extra security, I think. Especially in case a Mokian needs to move these or anything, that's that's cool. So we'll go ahead and add these and be all the better for it. So there we go. That is our modifications right there. We just need to add them in. But before I add them in, I'm gonna go ahead, put the circuit board back where it belongs. We are going to shimmy the wires around here. And there we go. So let's go ahead and let's put these bolts back in.
Okay, so now we are wrapping up. We are going to go ahead and put all these bolts in. And that should be it. We should be good to go. So I am going to ask you guys to check out Igor Mokian's channel. There's a lot of cool stuff there. He is super active on YouTube. The dude absolutely rocks. Like I said, this instrument is going to him. So I'm kind of excited to see what he does with it. And yeah, so definitely check him out. We're just slowly putting these bolts back in. And I am going to be doing a video on this. Um, it's going to be an unplugged video because there is no pro sound on this, but it's still going to be kind of fun just to play around with. I haven't messed with one of these in years, or I've never messed with one of these, but I'm pretty sure I've never messed with one of these in years. I think I did one a while ago, like I said, but I'm not exactly sure. What I should have absolutely did was sign the inside of it. So that is a missed opportunity. Sorry, Amokian. That would have been kind of cool. Right, Ghostfire Electronics was here right on the inside, but missed opportunity. Anyway, that's it. It looks like we are missing one bolt somewhere. Where are we missing a bolt? Oh, middle right there. Cool. That's it. So, let's fire it up. That is a wrap. So, I super appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit the bell notification. That way you know when I come back on hiatuses. So, you would get notified of this video. If you were notified of this video, you're my favorite person in the world. So, thank you so much. All right, but I wish everybody an awesome day. Do something positive for somebody today. Thank you so much for watching. And peace.